welcome back. So second half of the week, just a little quick job that I got halfway through is uh, these little tabs that hold the pins for the hinges in place uh, to stop them from sliding inward. Uh, they need to be drilled and tapped there into the door frame uh, with some screws to hold that in place. So I just got that underway. And the next thing I'm doing here is uh, creating a little template there just on some um, plywood, thin plywood there. Um, so I can create a jig that's going to sit on the four plane and allow us to know exactly what angle it's set to. Uh, we already have the bolts that go through the spar, but this will tell us that we've got it perfectly aligned before we put the second bolts through the forward spar. And uh, meanwhile, Devon's working on uh, putting all the nut plates on the hinges there for the ailerons and rudders and and such. So these are, this is one of the rudders. So he's you know drilling all those holes and then. Uh, putting the nut plates on and just doing the final prep work there on um, the uh, winglets in preparation for giving them their next round of uh, primer as you can see they need some more primer on there and uh, then he'll be uh, w working on uh, spraying the rest of the wings so I zipped up to Brits and uh, got this template cut out there on his bandsaw because we don't have a bandsaw in the hangar there at the airport anymore and this was the quickest way to do it so I uh, got that all done and now I wanted to show you that um, the sort of intake thing how I bolted that up last time there just some hardware on there and it's it's in place should uh, handle the loads of uh, the air coming in there given that it's just sort of vet directing it and there's my little template and just bolted that onto a little bit of a two by or sort of one by one tube Actually, not even that. I think it was three-quarter square tube. And so that'll sit like that. And then that top edge there is basically aligned with the cord line of the uh, four plane. And that way we know that it's the right angle when we set it on the, um, on the fuselage. And Devin got the nut plates done on um, both of the rudders and moved on to doing the uh, ailerons. So uh, now that those are pretty much done, they can be, um, you know, bolted on to uh, the wings once the wings are ready. And so there, I've got the other plate there ready to go. That one, this one's been drilled and tapped already. Uh, so just working through that. But, you know, I've got other projects I'm working on as well, like this one. So uh, these holes needed to be cleared out there for where the push rods or the actuator rods are for um, the elevators there on the four plane. So and I had to do that carefully and slowly because there's a movement in the way it sort of goes through its travel there and you know you want to don't, don't want to create like an overly large hole and the hole obviously isn't just a straight line because of the way the bell crank moves uh, anyway so it took a little while to, to do that and then the other one was a little bit quicker so I got those done and bolted that hardware in there and uh, here you can see Jeff is uh, just about ready there to uh, spray both of those uh, winglets and get them coated and the rest of the wings obviously been done but just need that second coat to be put on there so making progress slowly but surely and i must say we've been pretty fortunate with the weather since we moved into this hangar we haven't had uh, any days where we wouldn't haven't been able to work outside and here's devon just uh, working on now putting the nut plates there on the ailerons and uh, just using the little the rivet yeah. Um, driver thing that we have, rivet press thing, the one that I used a long time ago when I was doing nut plates on various different things. So he's uh, pretty much got the handle or the hang of this, not having too many problems, just he had I think 50 plates, 50 nut plates to put on. So anyway, getting those done and uh, so now that those are all done, because he got those all finished before uh, the end of the day, Friday. And uh, now that they're all done, they can be bolted onto the wings. So we're just waiting on the wings to be finished now. And so here's these um, bell crank things there and with the push rods. So I put the final hardware in there. And that little bit of tape in there was just to help hold the, uh, the washers in place because I needed some washers in between the uh, little um, arms there of the bell crank. But I uh, got the travel that we're looking for there and the action's nice and that. So... Hopefully uh, it all works out for us there. There's the other one. 
So it took a while to do that, uh, to get those sorted out, but now that they're done, it's just another job that I can tick off the list. And when I move the center bell crank there, you can see um, both of them sort of move in unison. So that's uh, obviously how it's supposed to work. And I actually had that bell crank around the wrong way, the center one, so that'll be coming off there and being uh, switched around. And so Jeff got the uh, winglets there painted, both sides of those. This is a Thursday afternoon now. Um, got those painted so the next thing was just basically to paint the upper skins and also the lower skins of the wings there and so my next job on the foreplane was to just switch out and put the correct hardware in for all the hinge bolts because we just had a couple of temporary bolts in there so I put like a wide area uh, put a wide area washer on the end where the bearing is and then put the bolt through that and then so the bolt goes through the washer and then the bearing and then the other side of the hinge the one that's mounted to the elevator and then just a normal washer on there and then a, a nylock uh, locking nut so i had to do those uh, but you know it didn't take long to do those and so then uh, having done that it was time to uh, get the fuselage ready so i could actually mount the four plane and this is the first time that it's going back onto the fuselage since uh, the lower skins were bonded into place and so we don't have like a perfect fitment yet in how it sits into uh, the fuselage so um, having that you know not fitting uh, correctly just yet means that you know i have to spend some time to go and uh, fit that in there and then obviously the bolts that run through the forward bulkhead Got to put those through and make sure that they, you know, meet up with the um, the holes and also the nut plates that are embedded into the spar there of the of the foreplane, and uh, you know get those bolted in. And then we have to check the angle on there with that little jig that I, I created and uh, make sure that we're where we're supposed to be for the angle because you know you want the foreplane to be uh, several degrees um, higher angle of attack than what the main wing is. So it definitely always stalls first. Um, you know, anytime you get the aircraft slow, because you you don't want the main wing to ever stall on this aircraft. And the four plane will always stall first and drop the nose. That's you know the the whole premise of a canard aircraft and why you know in some ways it's a, a safer aircraft to fly because um, you're not going to get yourself in a stall spin situation. So anyway, I got those. I uh, got that hardware in there and. Uh, and then it was time to uh, put the four plane uh, up onto the fuselage and uh, spend another couple of hours there getting it fit right. And uh, if you haven't sort of picked up on it yet, man, <laughs> composite work, especially for prototyping, is just a lot of fit and finish, fit and finish, fit and finish, and it gets uh, gets old real quick <laughs> when you've been doing it for several years now. So here's uh, Jeff and Devin just uh, doing the final wipe down on the upper surfaces of both of the wings there in preparation for putting the, the last uh, round of primer on those. And uh, as usual, the weather cooperating for us. Nice sunny day and just light wind and perfect for uh, painting outside actually. And so there's the uh, fuselage now with the four plane just sort of sitting in place. Um, and, you know, yet to actually get the bolts through from the forward bulkhead um, still as I said got to do some fitment on there to uh, get it to sit down exactly the way it's supposed to you can see it's kind of sitting a little bit high there on the leading edge um, but I had to sort of uh, stop what I was doing there because the AC guys were showing up again um, to uh, check the AC on the aircraft and uh, here you can see uh, Jeff got uh, both of the upper surfaces of the wings um, primed but there wasn't enough time in the day for them to dry completely in order to, to be able to flip them over and paint the bottom side so unfortunately the bottom side's going to have to wait till monday now um, but not a big deal because you know we'll get the wings on next week and so here's the ac guys showed up um, and uh, you know got the system all you know checked out and, and gassed up again and started working actually great when i first turned it on and then i was like well now it's not getting cold anymore it's getting hot 
And so after a little bit of thinking and uh, messing around, I figured out what was going on. So I got the AC and it's working great, but then also the heater was on and it was working great too. So we, uh, I clamped off the heater uh, hose and uh, then the AC is working great. As you can see, it's pumping out there 44 degrees and actually had it down to 43 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. So it was pumping out some super cold air and uh, working really well. And you see, it had the engine running there. And I've upped the idle for when the um, air condition is on at 1200 RPM. And I'll probably adjust that again, but that seems to work fine. And we had it running for quite a long time. It came up to full temperature and, and at 1200 RPM. It just sat there and uh, got you know those temperatures there and, and stabilized. So pretty happy with how the engine cooling's working. And there's the pressure um, gauges there on the system after we shut the engine down. So um, yeah, the AC is uh, working great now. So the, I just got to fix the heater thing. And uh, this is what I end up doing. So um, I just put a clamp on this hose here and because that's the outflow hose from the top of the engine with a heated uh, um, you know, coolant that runs down into the cabin. So I put a clamp on there to stop that. But really what I need is, uh, you see this valve is supposed to be in here and that basically shuts off the flow to the in the cabin unit and this is the valve here and I never actually installed it and I think uh, back when Dan was here I think for some reason we just decided we didn't need that <laughs> I don't know why but apparently you do need it because what was happening was the heater was turning on and just staying on when the AC was on and they were both, both uh, just fighting with each other and so what I have to do it's just actually a real quick fix um, I just have to cut the heater hose under here and you'll see uh, there's the two hoses that run up to the unit under the dash just have to cut uh, that one there and uh, insert this um, this little valve and then plug that uh, um, plug in there that was you know an existing plug coming from the unit and I already tested it and it just shuts and opens and shuts the valve there depending on what the AC is set to so when the AC comes on you set the temperature the valve shuts and no hot water will flow around the system so that's going to be actually one of the quickest fixes I've had in a long time. And um, so uh, after those guys uh, left, I managed to do some more work on the foreplane here and getting it closer. So I went in, in about a half a degree of getting it um, set up just right there. And I still don't have the bolts going through correctly. So that's going to be my job for Monday to get those bolts sort of firmly in place. Um, but, you know, now the elevators are on and the hardware, for that's all done. Um, you know, we're getting closer with the four plane. It won't take more than a day to get it sorted out here. So there you can see when I push down on it, I get close to the angle I want, which is basically six degrees, 6.6 .6 right now. So um, yeah, I just need to do a little bit more fairing out there and I'll get that in place. And uh, for anybody who wants to know, there's the drain line for the uh, condensation for the air conditioning system. <laughs> I just got it going into a bottle right now. I'll have to figure out something later how to do that um and anyway here's a look there with the doors uh, on and the four plane on the, the uh, also the nose hatch door doesn't close down completely just yet because that needs to be cleared a little bit but i can't do that until the four plane is nicely bolted in place uh, but other than that things are coming along pretty good got the dar coming sometime next week i haven't had a confirmation from him yet and as i said our test pilot's going to show up um, the following weekend and take a look at what we've got so uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Wings will be on next week. Four plane will be finished next week and a few other little projects and stuff I still got to do, but uh, we're getting there. Anyway, that's our video for this week and uh, thanks again for tuning in and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, next week on Tuesday. Mm -hmm.